Right afternoon all. Uh, this is a continuation for me. Uh, but it'll be a few days difference for you. So we've just come out of Buttermere and now we're going up here towards Keswick. And this is the Newlands Pass. Uh, we're in the middle of summer. Uh, and to anyone who isn't familiar with where I am, it's uh, the Newlands Pass is in the Lake District. Here in the UK. And there's been a lot of traffic. I mean, it's a glorious day, middle of summer. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of traffic in there. The thing is, I just wish some of them would learn how to bloody drive. Um, now this place, this place usually gets a lot of rain, but obviously they haven't had a lot of rain for a lot for a fair while now, because everywhere's so dry. To uh, go steady. A lot of, you can't predict what the car drivers are going to do. Oh, this is seriously as steep. Let's see if I can get the park up and up, just up here, just take a photo. Obviously I'll only park if it's safe to do so, so. It'll do here, wouldn't it? Oh bloody hell. Leave it in gear. Honestly, you wouldn't believe how straight this, how steep this is. Hang on. Oh. Now do you get an idea how steep it is? Stunning! That's my word for today, is stunning. Right, I'll take a photo, I'll get back to you in a minute. Bye for now. Whew. I didn't start you off properly then, but I uh, wanted to get away before one another car came behind. So. Honestly, this is really is steep. Right, I'm thinking I've been behind this fella before somewhere. get going see, uh, I don't think he'll let me pass anyway you can see the uh, 
see the road going off in the distance. I'm heading towards Keswick which is about 8 miles. Sometimes it's just got to be done on it. Uh, Newlands Pass, isn't it? I mean, it, yeah, it's quite pretty here. Um, but then you get to the point where it's not as uh, stunning as the others in the vicinity. Hey there, that's the line meat. I'm going to have to open my visor a bit. Sorry about the whistling. Oh. I'm saying it again, by the way. The, my hand is absolutely brilliant. I mean, you know, I've done a fair few gear changes uh, today in the 67 miles that I've done so far. And my hand is absolutely fine so it's a big massive thumbs up for the Hitchcock's adjustable levers if I remember rightly this was quite tight down here yeah Nice switch back this. And this. Loose gravel everywhere. Not a lot of water in that stream. In one of my uh, mad moments during Covid, uh, well I suppose you could say I was one of the Covid cycling cyclists, cycling, side bicycle buyer. I found one second hand from a guy that uh, lived in the valley down here and it, we, we came up to find his house. Oh what a stunning place, really, really didn't want to leave there, live there honestly cracking place not a bad view though is it This is uh, this is one of those roads that just seems to go on and on forever. I mean, our, our American friends know know about those roads, don't they? And Australians, I think you, you have pretty long roads as well, don't you?
So that I'm talking rubbish. Hey, I'll tell you something. Uh, normally, uh, I've said before, normally I'll take a couple of paracetamols um, uh, before I go out. Uh, but I haven't taken any today. I just forgot. I mean, my, my rush, to get, rush to get out. Uh, look at those pods over there. That's a bit of a bloody eyesore, isn't it? Um, yeah, in my rush to get out, I forgot to take my paracetamol. Anyway, uh, you know what, I'm fine. Whether the uh, turmeric has kicked in. They're trying to do a bit of repairs, haven't they? You still with me? Yeah. Glad I met him there. Now we're dropping down a lot. I think we'll, yeah, we'll be dropping down to a place called hmm, Braceway, I think. Eventually. Ooh, gravel. I believe the uh, the massive difference uh, with the levers. Uh, I've set the brake lever at position two, two or three even. It might even be three, you know. Yeah, three. Um, just that's enough. Get me two fingers on. And then the clutch lever is on position one. Uh, anyone down? don't know what I'm on about. These are the Hitchcock's adjustable levers I fitted. Uh, a couple of videos ago. Bumpity, bumpity, bumpity. You know, they, all, they, they come tearing down these lanes, don't they? They've got a van behind me, so I might actually let him through when I get the chance. He's in more of a hurry than I am. Feel for these multi drop drivers, haven't you? We all we all want everything yesterday, don't we? So we 
bloody, bloody people terrassing around the lanes. To be fair, these uh, patch repairs that they've done, they're, they're not bad. Whether they'll still be there, it, there this time in 12 months time, I don't know. We know like some of them have been, you've been seeing, they've got, like they're raised somehow. Whether they hope they'll, vehicles will pack them down. Ooh, whole new section here, look. Well, uh, we're getting close to Braithwaite now. Is it Braithwaite? I'm sure it's Braithwaite. And that's where I'll end the video. This is lovely smooth tarmac. There we go. Dropping into Braithwaite. Okay. I better warn him there's a van there. here somewhere with a little shop. A bloody van park outside is it? No. Right, I'm going to leave you now. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to go right here. If you went left, that would take you up uh, Winlatter Pass. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Please, big thumbs up, like. Uh, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already and um, I hope you enjoyed this hope you enjoyed this ride uh, I'm heading back now so if there's uh, any battery life left I might um, I might try and record the uh, a bit more anyway we'll see right cheers now bye